Jesse should come back to Dodge to see the the abandoned mall that's not abandoned yet. One central Iowa city that serves as a rural shopping hub is moving forward on a proposal to demolish its languishing shopping mall to revitalize retail. The closure of big box stores like Yonkers and Sears has left the Crossroads Mall here in Fort Dodge mostly empty. On Wednesday, the city took a big step towards completely tearing it down, replacing it with something radically different. Fort Dodge is a retail hub for a wide swath of rural Iowa. Our retail draw area is over 100,000. But one of its biggest retail centers, the Crossroads Mall, isn't much of a draw anymore. So a new proposal would ditch the mall, demolishing it in stages and opening the massive open air Crossroads platform. Plaza. The idea is to move the site beyond just retail to a destination. Nothing's anywhere close to final, but developers hope it could show a new way forward for smaller cities. And city leaders hope it keeps people coming to and staying in Fort Dodge. The next step is to finalize a development agreement with the city. There is no timetable yet for construction. The city of Fort Dodge is now one step closer to turning the old Crossroads Mall into the new open air Crossroads Plaza. The city council approved an agreement tonight with the developer. KCCI first told you about this back in November. The city will now work with the developer to create a master plan for the site. We are told the council will review and vote on that master plan in mid-March. So this is one of the old entrances into the mall. As you can see through a little bit of the glare, right here is a sign welcoming you, welcoming you to the Crossroads Mall. There's an old mural right there, some other stuff. But it's been closed for so long that it's literally just a crapshoot. Yeah, this would have been one of the original entrances that you could have come into. Off to the left-hand side would have been Sears. And then off to the right hand side, up, up straight there is where you'd enter into the actual mall itself. So this little area has been closed off for quite a while, but it still exists as far as the mall is concerned. And probably had the old crossroads sign up here. And then even one of the uh, other places here, the Iowa State University office, relocated as of June 1st. So this isn't even here anymore. We're gonna walk to one of the coolest entrances to this mall. We're with Daniel. Hi, Dan. This here is a Mexican restaurant, still a thing. This used to be like a, I don't know, novelty shop, but I think before that was maybe Radio Shack. Cause I remember going in there and there was a bunch of TVs and stuff. And obviously over here was Yonkers. 
and then the other little shops along the way. But this beautiful old entryway that I've walked under hundreds of times, and this is most likely the last time. And wow, here's the entrance. This is crazy. Holy crap, dude, this whole entire wing is gone. I didn't know it was this bad. Holy crap. I was in here like less than a year ago. No, just over a year ago. Crossroads Mall. Holy crap, it's literally dead in here. This place used to be bumping. Yeah, yeah it's always been super it's awesome. Really they got dead Yonkers. Yep, I used to work in there. I worked a register right over there. Okay. There you go, yes. <laughs> it's 21, 60% off. <gasps> We're gonna go do some shopping in some of the stores that aren't dead yet. I was gonna get this kind of footage today. This is crazy. We were literally shopping in here, not 2020 Christmas, but 19 Christmas. And now we're walking in here and it's abandoned. Turn the light on. Dude, my adrenaline is going crazy right now. This is the back employee entrance to, I can't remember the name of the store, but it, it changed into a few different things over the years.
That's the noise. Ladies and gentlemen, I was not expecting that at all. I had no idea the mall was that, that destroyed. So Gert, when he sent me that video, he was spot on. We needed to get here to film. All right. Get a picture of the other side and So this here would have been another entrance, and right here was J.C. Penny. <laughs> so what you're looking at is literally where J.C. Penny used to be. I used to shop for suits and ties and South Pole gear to look like a gangster all through the years, and that's where I was at. And then this here led into the mall, which still does, I believe. Yep. We'll go inside and show you around the mall. The old Crossroads Mall entrance. I don't know how many times Gert and I have walked through these doors together. Ooh. <clears throat> all right, so right off the bat, this used to be Bonanza, one of the most wonderful buffets in all of existence. Uh, sitting in the mall. Oh, right here. Video? Yeah. yeah. Me, hi. Video. Oh. This is nice. For most of my time here, this was US Cellular. This was the old arcade. I can't remember what this used to be. Relaxation, relaxation Point used to be EB Games. And then, I don't remember what this used to be. It's been that for a while. Actually. Yeah. Okay, wow, this lasted a long time, but this is no longer in business, so it seems. And then, this used to be an old pizza place, which was here for a really long time, really, really long time, and has since gone to the wayside. Yeah, all the seating and everything was back here. And then Shoe Sensation. This opened up in the early 2000s and it's still going. Granted, it's a little too expensive in my opinion, but you know, whatever. Then Dunham's. It's probably about to close, so there'll probably be some deals. With the Shoe <laughs> Sensation? Yeah. <laughs> so this, this was obviously what you come and ride as a high school kid when you're just trying to be rambunctious and rowdy. And this is no longer able to be used. And then this, I believe, was the old Radio Shack. Don't quote me on that, but I just say that because along this TV was just, or excuse me, along this wall was just lined with TVs. And now apparently... Radio Shack. Yeah, to work there. Some sort of an electronic store, yeah, it right? It wasn't a rent center. If you remember, if you're watching this and you remember what this exactly was, leave it in the comments down below so I can make an edit in my comment. So this is now like a CCS rummage sale, I guess. This has also been like a Halloween store many times. This used to be a different restaurant. I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a, kind of like a western-y steakhouse kind of thing, but now it's a Mexican restaurant. And then this here was the entrance to JCPenney, which is completely blocked off and gone now. Literally, you'd walk outside if you walk behind that wall, so. And then this here is the entrance that I showed from outside. I never knew what this here was for, but I always thought the door was so cool. It's just like this massive, heavy door. I remember walking by that as a kid, wondering, and it was always blacked out like this, so it may have been security. All sorts of little things on the walls. I mean, you can literally see the old wooden pattern that clearly isn't a thing anymore. And then this here, which is boarded up, is the old entrance to JCPenney, but took you directly to the salon. 
And that's the entrance that I showed you guys from outside. So this is one of the original entrances. This, this is what the other entrance that I showed you out on the other side of Sears would have been similar to. So in most dead malls, you will find at least one store, if not two, that are still somehow alive. Filled with inventory and Dunham's is that store. One of the stores, because Bath, Bath and Body Works is still here too. But I mean, this place is just filled to the brim with inventory still. And this mall is literally being destroyed. All right, then we got the, the candy dishes that have probably been holding the same candy since Garrett and I were going to college here. I mean, they don't look fresh at all. No, so these seedlings are probably uh, basically jawbreakers now. All right, so this here used to be Gadzooks. And you come here and you get your Von Dutch trucker hat. That was the thing back then. Apparently they are storing old booth seats in there. Now, that's literally what it is now. See, it's not empty in here at all. <laughs> then this was, shoot, I don't even remember what this was. A big store, definitely a big store. And she's been closed for a while. This one here, and these combined, a classmate of ours, his mother-in-law used to have like, kind of like a boutique store in these storefronts here, like crafts and whatnot. This was Zales, which I applied at Zales and didn't get the job. Claire's is right there, obviously. Is that where you got your ears pierced? No, I got my ears pierced in Cedar Falls. Um, and then Personal Expressions is now closed. That was open last time I was here. <laughs> the Verizon store is closed now. Yeah, also, another mainstay of Dead Malls is a live and well buckle, which again, just doesn't make any sense. Riddle's jewelry is still here. Master cuts used to be where my mom also got her hair done. And this here would lead into the other section of the mall. So I'm gonna advertise here, just, you know, trying to get the word out about uh, it's all me. So I figured that'd be the best spot to do it. Now, if this is still alive during Christmas time and they still decorate it, <laughs> props to Crossroads for still decorating for Christmas, even though they shouldn't have to. Oh, a couple of our empty storefronts here. Again, I don't remember exactly what these have all been over the years. Out here, we used to have Santa Claus all the time. Maybe still do. Um, yep. And then here to the left, or excuse me, to the right of Claire's used to be like calendar shops. The Easter Bunny was there when I was a little kid. And they've had other things out here, other shows like baseball card shows and such. This here, this was what, Glicks for a long time? Yeah, yeah. Which was kind of like a, yeah, like skateboarding shoes yeah. and stuff like that. But then it turned into a giant aquarium, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it, had fill, it was filled with fish and. So, yeah, that's no longer there. Bath and Body Works smells really good. So this was Trade Home, as you can see. This was Trade Home. And inside Trade Home, I actually tried on Heelys for the first time. I was gonna buy Heelys, the shoes with roller, roller blades in the side of them. Yep, so that's what uh, was in here, Trade Home shoes. This here was the infamous Foot Locker. Which is now a racetrack. But still looks like a Foot Locker. Still has all the studio lighting and everything. And we spent uh, many a days shopping in there. This never used to be like this. This was built later on for like recruiting and stuff. Air Force. Yep, Air Force. Um, another empty storefront. I'm not sure what that was. Looks like it became offices of some kind. And then this is Sears hometown. But originally this store here was an old Walgreens, but that was like long, long time ago. The actual entrance to Walgreens is right here. And then this was where you'd walk to go to Sears. 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 
they st Jesse made it sound like they were done, but they've yet to come find us. Clamp out. Chris Nope. Chris Nope. Chris <laughs> Nope. Zoop doo. We should walk in the radio shop and be like. And obviously these storefronts, I can't really remember what these were. I know this one here, no, I'm sorry. One next to Bath and Body was that bookstore. Yeah. Yeah, these, these storefronts have, have held plenty of things. So you can just see all the remnants. And then this was the old bookstore. Yep, magazines, books, everything you can think of. And then another mainstay of dead malls is fully outdated bath and body works that are not updated to the way the all the other ones are this is uh how it looks don't get me wrong it's nice looking but i mean this right here is the telltale sign of how old it is bath and body hasn't rocked that for for quite some time so there you go ladies and gentlemen that is inside the crossroads mall here in fort dodge it has changed plenty throughout the years, continues to change here in 2021. Kind of wish Bonanza was still there. Yeah, I know. <laughs>